Uh, how am I going to drag you guys while starting the timer? All right, this is going to be really scuffed. Um, and you don't have to drag us right away. You can just start the timer, then drag us slowly. All right. Uh, all right, I'll start in three, two, one, go. And this one, raise two. And then both trackers up and OBS. Alright, I probably gotta start when they start. Oops, whatever. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And I'll put turn on Hanjo's stream audio. There we go. Alright, everything good, guys? Don't restart that. No, <laughs> I almost hit that. Looking like we got the correct colors, so it's yep. definitely the same Alright, so we got, what, 27 jiggies and 201 notes? I believe, because that's what I remember. I'm patching it. Oh, oh boy, I'm gonna have to look back. Uh, I think it's this is 201. No, not 2000. 201, and we have 27. Yep. All right, there we go. All right. So it looks like uh, Hanjo and Flame are gonna be doing Spider Mountain. Uh, just typical. There's some jiggies in here, some of them can be mumble tokens as well. Um, I've we, learned that recently. Oh yeah? Yeah, there's a, there's a good route. Um, so the reason why we're not going for boulder jiggies, or the, or the uh, or not jiggies, sorry, honeycombs, or the, like the spawned in ones, is because they do not randomize in randomizer. Uh, anything that's like already out in the world is, is randomized though. And you'll be seeing some some strategies and some like route changes depending on what's spawned in and what's not spawned in. Uh, looks like Hanjo got a mumbo token. And he's about to enter Mad Monster Mansion as our first level of the game. Like this is the right one, right? Yeah. And we gotta make sure to pay attention to the... Yeah, it's gonna be... It looks like it's gonna be a, a shorter race. But, uh... But yeah, it looks like Hanjo's not gonna do anything. Or, I don't know. I don't know what his decision making is here. Uh, MMM is a pretty good world to start out with. Um, just because it has a lot of stuff, um accessible without like all the moves um we also see that once he comes around the corner here the shock pad is already um active well this shock pad actually is already active and you don't need to move that is a base game thing as well you may be seeing a lot of that in other worlds as well like fly pads and such oh chomp Like Flame Forge yeah. has decided to go to TTC instead. Yeah, did we see what level TTC was? Actually, no, it, it probably was Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah, that makes sense. I can, uh, I can check real quick. Line, real yeah. quick. I guess yeah. I'll update the trackers once they, they find the, uh, the level entrances. There's RBV? Oh. Uh, no one was looking. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on, unfortunately. It's not like uh, OTR where you can just like kind of take a break from looking for a second. But um, but yeah. I mean, what was was Mad Monster Mansion I believe, probably. So I'm guessing. And I don't think Hunter got any moves. I don't think Flames got any moves yet. See, that shot's pad confirm. is not active. Oh, go ahead. Using a Brentilda hint. Brentilda hint? Did we see what? Did he accidentally skip the text? For ZP, it has two new moves. Yep. Alright. FP has two That's moves. That's an important level. And then, what did, what did it say for FP? That was, what, seven, I believe, right? That's RB. RBB? I thought it was World 9 was FP. I, uh, I don't think. Is that the World 9 hint? I think it is. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay. Are you doing CTC? Okay, yeah. Cool. Alright, 
But yeah. Um. Uh, so Hanjo's looking at. I don't know, did he just go for the switch? But I don't think he could have went for the switch. I don't think he has Beat Buster. Yeah, TDC is one of those levels where it's. You, you'll probably find a move in there, uh, most likely. Sometimes you don't, but it's just very unlikely. Um, it's kind of annoying to get to some of these moves if they spawn where that blue ginger was on Flameforge's screen. Yeah, you have to go around the entire level. Uh, and it's annoying if you don't have talent truck. Yeah, you gotta know your, uh, your self abuse in this. I don't even think you can go like from the front part of the stage because you have to have like a shock pad. And I don't think that's yeah. activated until you get shock pad. Do you not see any moves in TTC? Oh, Mamba's Mountain. Mamba's Mountain. Uh, uh, yep, I saw that. That's um, usually a reliable level for me. And I gotta update. So this was RBP. And then this was... TTC. And then... Yeah, we don't know yet. Alright, uh, Congo, Congo Orange. Which is nice to see. Um, usually if that's in a bad spot, the, the route goes a little berserk. But, um... My friend deciding not to check, um... Water Ginger, even though... Um, that could be a move. And that could alter the, the route of the level. Uh. There's like two locations where the the mole hills could be at the beginning of Mumbo's Mountain. Like you yeah. said, in the water and on top of that little... Does Trot always spawn in Mumbo's? No. Oh, we got our first move here, though. Uh, oh, Shock's spawn, I believe. Oh, yep. Yep. Shock, Jump, and Hanjo learned Talon Trot. I can tell by the camera. Uh, Hundred Bling Town Trap? Uh, okay. Was that... Was that TTC? Where was that? That was at... Was that at, uh, Soft Spring Pad? Number? Or Battles? Um... Room? It was kind of like in a unique area. It was like... I think it was on top of the... Sh where that one Shock Pad is usually at. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's where the Ginger is. Okay. <laughs> so... Yeah, Flame not getting that. That's actually huge. Hanjo, because talent shot is a really good move. Yeah, right. you want to have that as early on as possible, so you know, yeah. so you don't have to slope abuse and roll everywhere pretty slowly. Yeah. To talent trap. It's talent trap isn't a, a move required to beat the game, but it's just one of those moves that you have to have in order to be be fast, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, flame doing conga now and. Hanjo, I guess, checking uh, upper oh. TTC area and go for it. Um, that could be dangerous. That yeah. big butt can just ram right I don't think I've ever actually seen a big butt in there. So, that's actually really interesting. Um, but yeah, a lot of big butts in these uh, these seeds, unfortunately. I don't know. I think just big butts can spawn anywhere. That's just how they are. But yeah. Hanjo getting, Hanjo getting the Jinjo? Yep, yep. Jinjo Jiggy. And then you can't and then Flame can't hit the witch switch. There's no you know beat buster yet. That can give Hanja the upper hand if he comes to Oh and Flame on the second move here that I was talking about, which could be yep. a beat buster and this could change the entire course of the level. It was Beat Buster. <laughs> oh nice. my god. Well, that's not, that's not really good because he could have got that earlier. And now he has to do the yeah. entire level again. And look at him, he's kind of pausing. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. You really, you really want to get Beat Buster um, as early into numbers as you can. Because he just got it at the end. And yeah, now he has to go back and do all the, the huts and the witch switch if he wants to. And yeah, this is going to just this is gonna suck a lot for him. And then Hanjo decided Hanjo to inside. Never <laughs> same thing about the same thing, nice. <laughs> um Yeah, uh Nipper's Jiggy is always vanilla, even though it isn't spawned in. Uh it's just a I think indexing thing. I don't know, some smart person can probably say us, tell us in chat, but um But yeah, it's always vanilla. And then Fang not going into tickers right away, I just realized. He's doing this like 
one of, as like one of the last uh, things he does in Lumbos, which is really interesting because Congo's uh, orange could be up there, but then again he already found it in the beginning of the level, so yeah. That jump can be a bit tight. Yeah. You have to get like the perfect camera angle and jump at the correct time with the perfect line. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if it's just gonna be a number token. Oh wow, not even worth going up there. Yeah. You got like a gamble if you're going up there. Sometimes yeah. there could be something really important up there, and other times there's nothing. And oh, yeah, that nice note. Yeah, the note. That note's always a meme. Uh, and then Hanger is doing a uh, pirate holder. What is what is Brother Ship called again? It's a famous fun question, so probably the salty. The salty hippo. It's called the salty hippo. Yeah. Yep. Oh, right, there you go. Um. I don't know if I should track how many jiggies and stuff I get in each world, because I already didn't for fun. <laughs> um, I don't think Usually I fill out the jiggies whenever I get the Brentilda hints, I just put in the amount that are in each world. Yeah. So yeah, that was a nice shrapnel location. Like most of the shrapnels that spawn in here are just awful. They're, they don't even there's not even any water most of the time. But that was a good shrapnel spawn. I like that one. Mm-hmm. Actually, I believe Andrew got to watch out. Yep. On health. Oh, wait, he's at 1 HP. That's not good. Um, it looks like. Yeah, Andrew. Uh, Ooh. uh oh. What the heck happened? Was... Oh, he's gonna try to take Andrew! Him. Just leave Oh, him okay, him. yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're right there at the beginning. Yeah. 43, Probably being 43 notes, but, um... I mean, Alright, see what TTC is. Oh, wait, yeah, we yeah. already know. Yeah, yeah, it's Mumbos. Alright, so... Mumbos, there we go. We might have to update the other ones. For the other side. Yeah, I, I did, yeah. For Mumbos Mountain. Oh, did I not do that? No, I did. Both sides. Uh -uh. Yeah. On, on my side, it doesn't show that Mumbo's Mountain. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant TTC, the TTC entrance. No. All right, there we go. Yeah, I just noticed that too. All right, cool. <laughs> it, it can get pretty confusing yeah. when when you're having to call things other things because they lead to other things. Exactly, yeah. Uh... Like they're back in the same level again. Yeah. I wouldn't personally stay in Mumbo's for as long as uh, Flame has been in there. But there was a lot of <laughs> quick notes and quick jiggies, but, um... Oh yeah, great I'd, level to get notes on. Yeah, I'd, I'd be, like, rushing moves right now. And then, I would actually just go find CCW and then just RBA. Um, if I could. Everything. What? Cause it's like, Is this Hollow Honeycomb right here always vanilla? Yeah, that one and the oh, one on... Yeah, and, and the other one is always vanilla. For some reason, again, indexing reasons, like, like some stupid thing in the game's code. But, um, but yeah. Uh, back to Mad Monster Mansion. Yep. Or, I don't know. Did Flame ever get the, the Jiggy? Or the Witch Witch Jiggy? Did we hit that again, or probably not? Don't know. Am I able to see this? Yeah, no way. Look around in Pixel. Our first match. Uh, this looks like Hanjo's gonna f uh, go down the hill and do Congo, and then Flame's gonna be doing some RBB. Um, I wonder. Ooh, this, I wanna go into Engine Room first. Um, I'd actually save Engine Room for last in, in Rando. Uh, because you can actually get the move that- Whoa, what, nice camera, what the hell? I've never seen that camera before. Me neither. Yeah, what the- That's a really interesting camera there. Um... But yeah, you can get- Oh no, <laughs> nice oh. oh no, this is fine though, you can make the cycle. You're good. Maybe. The other ones you can't. No, you're good, this, he's fine. You can make that cycle, but... 
the other ones, uh, the number tokens on like the, uh, the spinning things. Um, oh no! Ooh. We, got, we got a death in engine room. Classic. Unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna go right back in there. Oh no, deciding not to do LBB. Okay, we're out of there. Even though LBB does have a lot of jiggies. Um, and now we're back into TTC. Okay. Um, cool. And I think he may want to go check uh, Clankers now. Clankers? Yeah. Okay. There's also a Brintel to hint he can go to towards yeah. the cl Clockwood puzzle. Yeah, definitely worth it to go get that Brintel there. Because it could be a, uh, a jiggy there, but just, I guess he just is deciding not to do that. Um, he's gonna go check the member token in, in Cauldron now. I didn't realize, like, how many tokens in Grunty's Lair can just be a, a jiggy now. Yeah, because it's, it's I need to shuffle. utilize that a lot more. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it, it's game shuffle, so it could just be, like, any amount, I'm pretty sure. Or anything logically. Um, That's so cool. Yeah. That's why I really it's like, like the, the game shuffle settings, mm -hmm. other than the, than the world one. What world is this? Uh, I don't think we set Bubble Gloop. Oh, Bubble Gloop. Alright. Uh, there could be a Jiggy on top. Often I see a Jiggy on top of the yeah. pipe here. Yeah, but it did not what? check that. Alright, let me put down Bubble Gloop. And these, this, uh, this world actually has quick, like, three move checks. Uh, okay, so Jinjo here. Oh, yeah, only three moves can pass, uh, or three possible moves can spawn here. Um, and you're learning, um... Beak Buster? Beak Buster, yeah. Did you also learn Shock Spring? Pretty sure you probably did. I'm guessing. I probably forgot to do that. Um... Yeah. I'm trying to think. Oh, oh we, we got, got a move, move right here. Yeah, Flame's got a move. That's gonna... It's gonna oh, toss him right into the swamp. This is... Ancient Res of the Egg. Right, oh, cool. hey, yep. Hey, a very, hey. very useful move in this. So... It's required to, be hard to beat the speed. Yep. Mm -hmm. And also just, uh, I mean, not really good in battle group, other than Cactus, I'm pretty sure, but, um, but yeah, uh, having Beak Buster in, in BGS is a, is a game changer as well. Because there's every, every Jiggy in here is a spawned in Jiggy, like Vanilla. So all the Jiggies, there's at least 10 in here always. So this is a really stacked level. So if you have like a, a high Jiggy seed, you definitely want to. Uh, visit BGS and do most of it. I've noticed sometimes that Click Clock Wood can have a, a crap ton of oh, yeah. um, jiggies. Definitely. I can't I always rely on it all the time though because sometimes the jiggies are kind of slow to get but when there's like 19 of them in there which I saw one time it's pr pretty worth it of saving Click Clock Wood for last if you just want to get your last scoop of jiggies. Now that fine only I think he needs fright. Yeah, Flame only needs Flight now to, uh, when I beat the game. Even though getting Beak, uh, Beak Bomb would be pretty useful. Uh, it saves a lot of time to get any fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like, just like Time Trap, basically. Just a, a time-saving move. Oh, uh, does not know Surfer Oh, this... Does it not know Surfer Boost? Okay. Uh, I can't get up there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know what Slip Abuse is, it's basically if your shadow touches, like, the ground of a non-slippery surface, and then, uh, and then you, like, go back mm -hmm. on a slippery surface, uh, your slope timer resets, so you can climb up slippery slopes. Doesn't work with every slope in the game, um, but it works with pretty much most. And that's very useful if you don't have Talent Trap, which Flame missed in TTC. <laughs> Not resetting his timer. Yeah. Mining note the the note door move, which is required to beat the game, <laughs> technically. But you can you can only eight ten. Uh, I'd yeah, Mad Monster Mansion has nothing. Yeah, since Hanjo's on uh, EverDrive, I would totally recommend running that move there because um, eight ten room is just super laggy. Especially with you opening the note door and then the call drain, uh, waking that up if you do that, and then talking to bottles there to run the move. It just wastes so much time, so I, I totally recommend to run it there to save some time. 
Okay, so two new moves. Uh, Hanjo not opting to check the the uh, number token. Uh, did he? Maybe he did. I just didn't see. I don't think. I don't think he did. did no. Um, what level was that? Uh, it's always the second level with EDC. It just said it was MM. Oh. They all linked to the same oh. entrance. That's right. Yep. And then, yeah. And they're just doing some... learning there's nothing there, too. Yeah. Just doing the same thing basically Flame did. And yeah, Flame doing, uh, Tank Tep, right? That's the name of the big guy. The big, uh, yep. turtle. Yep. And then Tip Tep is the, the guy inside. From Diddy Kong Racing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, as you can see, the, the choir is, uh, is shuffled weird. Has, like, random XYZ uh, positions. Actually, just, I think just XY positions, not Z. I think they're always the same. But, um... Uh, do they know it? Uh, they know it when they talk to bottles uh, at the beginning of the game, right at Spiral Mountain. He'll tell you how many uh, jiggies and notes you need. So, yeah. Andrew, I'm not also oh. checking the uh, number token. I don't think. I mean, you did. I no, would... no, they they checked. Oh, they it, checked. Okay. It, it was a it was a regular mumbo token. Oh, okay, cool. cool. Yeah, that that goes yeah. on, unfortunately. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was that Tihi gonna hit him? And then Andrew running eggs. Mhm. Mm yeah, that Tihi was always in there. Okay. Nice double ginger. Nice. Always good to see. Has anyone gotten like three Jinjo stacked there before? Or one of these? I have, I think. But not in these seeds. In like a, just a random one I did for like a weekly. And you're not going for BGS. Yeah, you're gonna talk to Bentado, which is really smart. Well, five Clinker's Cavern. That is who's the peak, right? So. Clinkers. Oh, yep. I got hit by the shrapnel. Unfortunate. Not gonna check the one right behind that giant grunty statue. Yeah. In the other room. You definitely in, in these uh, in these settings, you definitely want to talk to Brent Tobles. Um, especially right now because you really want to find moves. And mm -hmm. if you not like if you know where they are, it's just it's, it's game changing. And then yeah, Hanjo into GV. Where's GV? Hmm. That's that would be great. Right? That was Bubble Bloop, yeah, and looks like Go Cook. uh, Gobi's Valley is Cook Cook. Clock good. Yep. World 6 moves. Alright, shoot. And then we found out that it's BGS. Yeah, flame left as well. I uh, can't do anything in here. Uh, Go uh, Gobi's just blocked to. Uh, you need running shoes or a town trap. And he has neither, so I wonder if he's gonna notice that he can't get up there. <laughs> it's not possible, I don't think. But yeah, and then Hanjo going to FP, which was right. Um, probably, uh, oh, it was Cook Like Wood, yeah. I already have it written down because of the hint. And then from uh, learning that uh, GV is CCW. Yep, and it's like Flame is surfing the Amen. world teleportation wave. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Flame not going into FP with Town Trap, uh, that's actually really bad. Oh, here's a move, Ninja finally. Um, it's in the tree. I always like that move being there, it's, it's just like, I don't know. So, it's also um, like a really good spot to get notes. Yeah, true, definitely. This and the scarf are probably the best options. Are probably where like forty percent of the notes are in the library. Mm -hmm. So if you're like short on notes, this is like a really good place to farm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, FP, uh, even in vanilla, you can get out of the notes without learning any of the moves. 
I'm pretty sure. Flame Forge missing a lot of notes. Are we ready? These are the ready. Alright, raiding boots. Interesting. I don't think Fang ever would land a note during you. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, with these settings, I would recommend going in the water. I don't know what Hand is doing, but that doesn't work as a, <laughs> as a way to uh, not take damage. But, interesting. Uh, I don't know if I can just remove there. A lot of health abuse. Fang doing an interesting route here. Jiggy. And I'm not sure how many JVs both of them have, but I'm pretty sure they're, like, maybe halfway, or even at that point, ready. And that was an extra light word, Ginger, I'm pretty sure. So, nothing there. Yeah, it's, this is just gonna be really awful for Fountain, because it's just, everything, there's so many slopes here, <coughs> and it's slippery, with you, when you don't have time shot, so, yeah, it just sucks. And you're gonna maybe look for the if there's a jiggy there. I actually personally go, go, go down there every time just to check. And I just like do like a a swim around. Not a move there either. Present. Bit of a numbers below the gameplay, so that's gonna be the requirement. Oh, the even the numbers like on the. Okay, so those are like how many notes and stuff you have. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of forgot to do it, so <laughs> I wasn't really doing it this match. Anyways, they, it's a really low requirement, so I don't, I don't think anybody... But you can see it on their stream as well, how, many, how much stuff they have. But, um... Like, Flameforge doing that, um, star... I have a twinkles? You, you can't. No. I don't think he can do it. I don't um, think he has flight. No, he doesn't. Um, interesting. Oh, Hanger's gonna die. It's... Oh, that sucks. Ooh. I just honestly, I just leave the level now. Um, maybe not. I mean, I guess there's. Did he get his two moves? I don't think he did. Did he? There's two moves here. I'm pretty sure. So he he has another move, which is probably by. Oh. Yeah, it's in Mumbo's, it's behind this house over here, but it's on top of Mumbo's. And then I think, did Flame just sign Loading Boots? I'm not sure. Okay, not there. I don't think so. And I wonder if Hanjo knows about, uh, on top of Mumbo's. Interesting. Looks like Hanjo's going for the health. Uh-oh. Time, time did a bit early. Yeah, there's, there's time differences between any later and... Another drive. Mm -hmm. We got wedding boots. Cool. Ooh. And just like screw it, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, wedding boots is is one of those moves that you don't need. Looks like, looks like Hanjo has it. There's a ginger up there. Though. I can hear it. I don't think he does. <laughs> yep. Um, does he have his game audio? Yeah, because yeah, that's how you can tell. You just beat the audio. And here's our last move, it's in Mumbo's. Yep. And hopefully it's Flight, because then I believe he's game mode. Beat bomb, alright, alright. I mean, Not that's, bad. that's pretty useful, required yeah. to beat the game. That can open up some things in, uh, in Gobi's Valley to do, if he wants to go back there. Mm -hmm. Also just speeds up the flying sections a lot. Yeah. Gamer Fortnite, what's up? <laughs> like my name. I love that name. Or it could be a little... Oh, you can go up there. No. You can actually get up there. You can, but I don't think you can get the number token. I think you need fight for that. Wait, which Mumbo token? Uh, the one on the flight pad, like... That, uh, that, that house. There's a number oh, on, on top yeah. of it. But... I was looking at Flame Forges because he, they were slipping down that one area yeah. and they just kind of gave up on it. I think Hanjo got all his notes, so he's, he's skipping up on, on notes now. Now it's just a, a rush to find moves. Even though he shouldn't even be up here, but 
There's a lot fa a more faster GGs than getting probably this one, or uh, the baggy sled one. If there's uh, a jiggy inside of that. But it, there is nothing there. <laughs> and, let's see. Deciding to try the Rosa move, even though he already got the hint of those two moves here. Um, yeah, just to just show, yeah. Alright, cool. Get on the sled. Jiggy? Your jiggy? This oh, is fun. He's gonna get it. This is really cool. I like this. So you can get yeah. the Jiggy right in this cutscene. That baggy mm -hmm. drops his Jiggy. And that, yeah, that's just really funny. I love that. Oh, okay. Oh, that would've been sick if he just slid into it and just immediately get into the Jiggy anime. You know, last level is Clinker's like... Cavern. Oh. Or, well, no, we don't know what Clinker's Cavern is, which is... What is Clinker's Cavern? Oh, was it BGS? I don't think I ever got that. I don't think Andrew ever went to BGS. Um, Clinker is just one of those levels you don't really want to be in. It's slow. You didn't erase Clinker and stuff. Uh, not that many movers to spawn, they're really far apart. Um, but yeah. I'm guessing most likely there's not gonna be any moves here. I think we already got and the And you're going for the Brentilda hill hint right here. Yep. World 7 Rusty Ooh, Bucket Bay. that is huge. I don't think that any of them went to Rusty Bucket Bay. So yeah, that could be where their flight pad is. How many moves did it say for Rusty? Two. They missed two. They both didn't even go in. Which is actually, they, you probably should get all the moves. Actually, no. Rusty Bucket Bay is the second level. What am I saying? Right? I know. Yeah, it was the second level they, they had access to, yeah. I'm right, okay. And then, yeah, flame opening clanker. Um, unfortunately, flame's not gonna find anything in here, so this is kind of a, a waste of time. Yeah, but this could be a really quick seed if, if Hanjo finds, um, finds the moves and gets all his jiggies, because there's a lot of jiggies here you can get. This could be, this will probably, if he finishes in like the next 10 minutes or so, this will be a new record, I would say. Because we haven't got to see this like low requirement. Oh, yep. Just checking with his jiggy there. That's smart. And your, mm -hmm. your foot, Sam. And opting, no, not opting to an engine room. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to go check this number token. That's and another good area to check. And does he know the, the strat for the engine room? Oh, is he not going in there? Oh, he's gonna do it! Oh. We're gonna see this. Uh, this is a really cool strat. If, if the move's here, you can you can learn the move behind the door. Or the window. It's really oh. cool. The running shoes. Okay. That's very convenient. Yeah. What move was that? It was running shoes. Alright. Not bad. Yeah. You can get you a couple of jiggies in. And also, also checking jiggies. if there's any jiggies. In engine room, which I think there was just a member token in the normal jiggy spawn. Oh, he didn't. Does he already have those jiggies? So, he's like pretty much gay mode right now. He's been skipping mode, skipping jiggies. I think he's just looking for a flight pad. Yeah. Yeah, right now it's literally just go get flight and go beat the game. Could be in here where the Jinju is. Yep. Another place where it could be is um, inside that warehouse. Yeah, the other warehouse, yeah. I think that's actually the last spot that you can actually find it in. Mm -hmm. So, I would actually be rushing that right now. I don't know what he's doing in here. Does he need Jiggy? Maybe he just skipped that Jiggy. That's probably why I should probably track in everyone's Jiggies in each level, but it's just so hard when there's two people collecting Jiggies at the same time and stuff. Mm -hmm. The Bender's a very, very fast paced game, so. Not a lot of downtime. Going around the bowl. Don't know what he's doing there. Wonder if he's just showing off because he's yeah. almost done. Yeah. What is he doing? Wait, is he actually trying to death warp? What? Is he trying to get my attention? Wait, hold on. No, 
I don't think he is. Okay. I thought maybe he was like trying to maybe some guy on another stream or something. OBS. We haven't been paying attention on Flame's side. Yeah, Flame's just doing CC. It's it's just CC. No moves here, so you know. I yeah, I think he's just like. Oh. I mean, there's a Jiggy just sitting right here, so. Yeah. Jiggy inside the stove. Oh, yep. Oh, what is I he, guess what is he I guess Hanjo do? does have. I don't know. What do you mean? What he's doing? <laughs> I don't know if he has all the jiggies or not. I mean, if he wanted to say something, he could just, like, I have his stream open. I don't know what he's doing. Is he trying to mumbo tokens? Is he thinking he needs the pumpkin or something? I don't know. He doesn't need to op He doesn't need to erase the water levels because Click Clock Wood is in Gobies. Yeah, and OBB as well. Is, mm -hmm. is, uh, the second level, so. Oh, shoot. I don't know what he- I don't know what he's trying to- Why- There's two moves here, Hanjo. Why are you- What is he doing? <laughs> I don't understand the strategy. I think he's just showing off at this point. I think he's just- I mean... I don't- No, I just don't understand at all. He, he needs to get that last move in his go mode. And maybe he doesn't know if there's a Jinjo there? Maybe he's like thinking like, oh, there's like a glitch or something, I can't get out of the moves in the level. But no, there's, there's another one you haven't checked yet, so. What is he doing? Both oh, jiggies. there's just two jiggies up yeah, here. Yeah, that's really good. But didn't. What is... I think he maybe just doesn't know where the, the moves are, and he's just kinda... Kinda just looking around. Hey, what's up, Tone? Uh, Hanjo is currently in the lead. Uh, Flame's uh, doing Link some... Forge. Yeah, Flame's uh, doing some... Can't quite get across. Yeah. Can't quite get across from the room. Hanjo. Up oh, here we go. Hopefully... Andrew can see that there's a move up here. Yep. And there's a... Again, I don't know why he's going for stuff. And I think the move is up there? I didn't get to see it. Uh-oh. If Waiting this is flight, bit. this will be huge. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh no, is he gonna die? Oh! If, if he dies, oh, that, he could get hit by That'd be there. tragic. Okay. That could be tragic. If he okay. dies here, he's at. Oh no, the fourth sound. Uh oh. No. no. I'd ground pound. No. Ground pound. Please. Or that works too. That works. I've never seen that, but that works too, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? There could be. Number. Okay, good. There's no. There's a vent. There's no. Yeah. Yeah, vent or better way, vents are uh, cycled as random enemies. They're actually good enemies, so. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's really cool to see. Giving them a chance in Rando. What are you doing? Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Andrew, what is going on? Alright, what's this move? It's yep, there we it's go. Here there we go. go. Time to leave. When he goes right to them. I mean, at this point, I don't think I would, uh, I would do a, a warp to uh, CCW. I would just go to. I would just leave, hit the switch, and uh, head up. She wrote Bunny. So, we are a gun head. Gotta make sure that he does the same time as well. Yeah, if he. That's just a lot of time loss. If he game over, either doing the Gunny fight or like. Okay, this could actually be huge though, because if if he dies in the Rip Crack room, leading to Gunny. This. Oh! Oh no! Okay, oh. Well, there can, you can back up this. But. You have to die, but he has zero lives, so he... Oh no, this is really bad. Okay, so he has to go find CZW, which is where again? GV, so that's not that far away. Mm -hmm. So... Or maybe he missed that on purpose, because he was just like, mm, maybe CZW is faster, but... I think hitting the switch would probably have been... Uh, oh my god, I I completely forgot about that Brintilda. I never go up there anymore. Yeah, there's was Brintilda there, and I was just saying... Uh, whatever it was at CC, which was... Uh, wow. 
Is there, there there is like there's two moves or one move I think there in BGS. And then and then Flame's gonna be learning now that there's two the there's actually no TGC is the other one. Okay, never mind. This is uh RBB. So he's gonna learn that there's No, not Mass Mansion. Okay, there's no moves for Mad Mass Mansion. Nope. Okay. Oh there's there's actually ten Brentildas. Gamer. I thought there was like eight or nine of them. Yeah, Gamer just means that we have everything to beat the game. What the heck? Wait, what is Hundred? That was weird. Okay, interesting. You could just went down to GV, but um, maybe you wanted to save some HP for the Gunner fight. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Flames are really racking on the moves right now. I think I think Hundred has this in the bag. Okay, smart, getting that. Even though that could be randomized, but that was vanilla. First extra life. That's probably why. Oh, nice strat. That's the Hanjo classic right there. <laughs> Jumping on the Reef of Time trap. Flame has learned slope abuse. Cool. Awesome. Alright, and he's opening up the door now. Hopefully, he has all his jiggies. No, nope. he doesn't. What is he do He thinks it's 21, even though it's 27. Oh no, wait, this could be actually bad. This way, this is bad. Oh. This could actually lead to a soft rock, I'm pretty sure. You have to enter all your jiggies at once. This could actually... This could be a soft rock. Uh-oh. Alright, we'll, we'll have to have see. To, like, collect oh. six more jiggies. Yeah, but... We we kind of this the other day in one of the uh, in the qualifier seeds with, with Pixel, but if you enter uh, all those all your jiggies without um, without saving or uh, putting like if you don't have all your jiggies like in one go, um, yeah, it, it like resets the total for the thing and you can't can't open it. Um, I mean the only option would be like dog skip. I'd actually. That could be a workaround or like a, a thing in the rules where if, if that, if the 810 note there doesn't work, you can do dog skip. <laughs> but uh, this could actually... He'll just have I would to probably go back to seven. RBB. You'll just have to recollect 27 jiggies. Oh wait, oh my god, wait, so then Flame actually has this in the bag. Wait. Oh no, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I should stop it or not. Because, I, I don't know. It's a bug, so like... Uh, this just sucks. Well, he, he knows that it's a 25 through 50 RNG, like, jiggy count. Like, it could be 25 to 50 jiggies. It can't be 21. So, like, I don't know. I don't really have this in the rules to, uh... I don't know. I guess we'll just see. But this is actually really bad. I don't know if I should let him keep doing it until he recollects his 27 or... Oh no. Yeah, you learned know, it the hard way as well, yeah. A pixel also had encountered that bug as well. Gotta account for everything, yeah. So did pixel, um... Enter all of his jiggies at once again, like once he got enough, or did he nah. do it once? I actually let him just go, do, go in the practice round and, and do a uh, gunny fight <laughs> and see what time he got. Mm -hmm. So, I can't do that for this though, this is, this is a competition seed. I say, since it's a game thing, like his game didn't crash or anything, uh, I say just let him keep going for now. I just, I, I, just so, so rude. Cause I, I don't, I wanna like, be unfair, you know. I Forget just, where Beak Bomb was. We'll see. Yeah, he's doing a little dance there. Yeah, he must have read it as 20, 21. That, that's a classic. Misreading 20 or seven as one, you know. It happens. Um, he doesn't, the problem is, I don't think Hanjo knows dog skip, he's not an 80% runner, he's a 100% runner. Um, should I pull him in the call and just tell him to do that? I don't know. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I can't wait until we yeah, what Tillin says. That's what I was gonna do, but but yeah, I think that's our best course of action. Hi. You want me to? I I'd have to stop the entire thing though, and he'd lose. T and then I actually I have to have, ask Frame to stop. It just it, it wouldn't work. Alright, but once he gets back, there I just have to read dogs. Hunter Witch Switch here? Yeah, interesting. You need B for that. Um, maybe. maybe. Are, you gonna, are you gonna get a lot of jiggies with the B? I don't know. Maybe he's going for layer jiggies. Yeah. I don't think there's no boundaries for the transformations. I mean, I want to give Flame a chance to, to come back, but did Flame learn anything? I, I've just been paying attention to Hanjo's side the entire time. <laughs> Uh, we probably learned that, that, uh... Flame Forge is about to find flight. Yeah, that's... But did he, did he learn... Oh, is it running shoes here? I think he learned, um... Flight here. I oh, just, Flame Forge just, can die here. I feel like... Luckily... Hmm? I don't know, I feel like that's just on me, though, to, like... I didn't tell them about the, the soft walk. So... I don't know. I mean, I guess I just. Alright, we'll just keep. If going. Andrew still wins, then. Yeah. Alright, so. Because if... Flameforge still needs to find Beak Bomb. Well, Beak Bomb, you don't need Beak Bomb to beat the game. You can... Isn't it, like, really scuffed, though? Yeah, but you can still do it. Like... I feel like Flameforge is gonna possibly keep looking for Beak Bomb. I'd say it's probably easier to do that instead. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it just feels really scummy, though. To, like, I don't know. I want to be fair to everyone. And if you're, like, not knowing a bed, that could literally change the entire outcome of the, of the game. Uh, let's just see. Let's just see what happens. If, if he, think, he could get, you know, he could RBA the rest of the, the jiggies. You know? Mm -hmm. That could be really fast. Did he, did he check that um, snare bear at the top there? I don't think he did. Not this one, the other one. Like, uh, where I think a Jinjo would would sit right there. Yeah. In the base game. It's definitely more exciting, I guess, but I just, it feels scummy, you know? Like, I don't know. I wonder if the door actually rolls over, if it's over 25. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Cause yeah. Alright, I'll definitely make an announcement though, that to not do that. But well, here's the thing though, he didn't know, like, his Jiggy requirement though. That was the problem. Like, when other people did it, they, they, uh, they knew the Jiggy requirement, but they just, like, were like, oh, I'll put some in and then come back later to put some more. Like, he, he was there at, like, 21 Jiggies thinking he was gonna go beat the game. So... Ah, oh, does Hanjo not know? Yeah, Hanjo thought it was, it was 21. I was doing boo, but let's go! This is, <laughs> this is a classic of the TSR stronghold. I don't think there's any boundaries in the, in this randomizer. No, wait, 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 you mean G transformations? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there is. I, I put them in because, uh, it's just a quality of life thing, because, like, what if you come back to CCW and you need to D transform for, to beat the final, or uh, to beat Granny, you know? You don't have any D transformations yet to go in the level and, uh, go into a, into a number score, which could be annoying, so, yeah. Yeah. I think a cool thing to there add. There. So yeah, those who didn't know, I found this a couple months ago. Found this glitch. It's a new RBA method. It's cool. Nice boob. Very really useful in randomizer though, because it, uh, 765 uh, isn't there, so you can't do 765 door clip. You could do cauldron RBA, but like, it's just why bother setting it up.
Well, come on in, Mumbo. Trying, trying to get pot. inside the... Yeah. Yep. What is Flame doing? Please. I think Maybe he's Flame confused. Is, like, planning. I think Flame's thinking of where Beak Bomb could potentially be. Huh. I mean, I think he... Wait, what, wait. wasn't it in... I'm trying to remember where Beak Bomb was. I think it was BGS, I don't know. I, th I think it was. I think it was in BGS. Um, I think he went and learned the uh, running shoes as well. I'm pretty sure, I think. Hand just not finding anything? Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. Honestly, it seemed like um, Rusty Bucket Bay had like a very good um, amount of Jiggies just sitting there right in the open, because especially at the top of the... Mm. Smokestacks, are they called? Or yeah, some... if you guys know it would be, that would be pretty, pretty good. I think, he's, I, think he just, I don't think he has a tracker. I think that's his problem right now. Is he just, everything that he's doing in his head. And that's what screwed him up. Wasn't Beak Bomb in numbers in FP? Or maybe it was, yeah, okay. I think that if it was there, then that's probably what it was. So, he still needs to go, maybe he just doesn't know. Yeah, he Flame definitely needs to talk to Brentsodos a little bit more. Uh, GV. Really interesting level to see as the B. I wonder if, if Hanjo knows a lot of B strats in here. What is it, GV? Oh, nice. I like it when it's just up in the open where that Mumbo token usually is. But yeah, you can get out of balance here and basically get another loading zone, but I'm not too sure if Hanjo knows how to do that. That is an 80% strat, so. Uh, maybe we'll see him try to learn that. Is he trying to go for Rabba? That's nope. not the right setup, I don't think, for it, but it may work. It would have worked if uh, he was in the right positioning. Um, but yeah, we gotta be like in. Yeah, this is the. Yeah, there's no way. There's another strat of doing it. We have to go like down the, the slope and and uh yeah, fly into it. But yeah, that's a pretty hard strat. It's not used in any categories, I'm pretty sure. In normal speedruns, but it's a cool strategy. There's a jiggy right here. Nice jiggy. Um we're just looking for a ginger. You know, I don't think you can collect all gingers and, and overworld them. In the uh, GV, I'm not sure about it. Oh, there's another GV. I wonder if he also knows how to get into Sphinx early. As the B. I, I think, think he's he at does. 25 Jiggies? Ooh. Nice clip. Yeah, he, should, he needs like two more. But you can find him here right now if he just gets good luck. Oh, nice camera. Oh, we're good now. And it's a number token. And I'm also guessing oh, they're good. down there. Oh, it's a Jiggy, I think. Yep. Now it's only cam. I know that's a. Oh, uh, it nah. looks so similar. Yeah. Maybe gonna go yeah, for the Jinjo? No? Okay. I think he pauses, check his Jiggy count. Oh, yeah, I saw a lot of people making this mistake when they were doing the qualifiers. Uh, you don't have to go to the uh, the menu, like the game total menu, to find out how many jiggies you have. You can just pause, and it's in the bottom right corner. Because you don't open any worlds. Except for actually for this case, where Hondra actually put some jiggies in the, in the 810... Or not 810, uh, dog door. Alright, maybe, maybe this is good? Oh, nice! Oh. Okay, that worked. I, I haven't seen that work. That's cool to see. So just one more. Yeah. Because I don't think Hanjo's been inside um, Gobies yet, until now. Yeah, Flame using his flight pad to maneuver around FP. I think he's Hanjo's still giving up the on... Yep. Honestly, I would look and fall. Does, does he know that there's no D transformations or what is he doing? 
Sometimes there could just be a, a jiggy right next to the entrance. Oh, he doesn't oh, know. He didn't know. Yep. That's oh, all. It's right there! The, there's one more jiggy right there. Yeah, definitely burn jiggies. <laughs> That's for the, the BT uh, SC tournament. The Banjo 2, or no, what is it? Banjo 2 Championship Series Tournament. What? That's also a Didn't great... he press the switch? Huh. But well, maybe I should make some Nightbat commands for rules. That would be actually... I, I, I didn't think of that, so... We do have a rule book, I guess you could say. Just like a... But, um, but yeah. So basically the rules are no dog skip, no DDA, no, um, 810 skip. Yeah, there's no way to really do 810 skip, but just in case, you know, if it comes up, and, you know, you know, if it comes up being found, or at least RTA, I'll just ban it just in case. Uh, still, yep, still needs one more jiggy. Yeah, flame back in CC, even though there is no moves in here. Kanjo just needs one more jiggy. Yeah. It was like right at the. I think I'm. I'm pretty sure I saw at the very entrance of Paul. Keep going to FP. There's some stuff you can do there with with Flame Beak Bomb. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think Flame's just trying to look for the move. Okay, interesting strategy oh. by Flame. <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah, you can do that. I I think I did that once in one of my runs, but uh, it's not really worth it. Which is cool. Don't see that in speedruns. Hanjo deciding to just uh, world warp class the way. Yeah, he's just. I think he's looking in here to see if there's a move because this is the last area that could, where, where there could be a move, but not just a Jinjo. Maybe gonna go for the GG. Good. Yeah, oh, it's a token. Is gonna yeah. death warp in here. Yeah, it looks like it. Going um, for the egg jiggy? Didn't Hanjo do that already? I think he did. I don't think he ever ran a BGS at all, so. Isn't there like a move here? Yeah, but I don't think it was. I don't think it was a quad move, right? It was like. It was like a. Uh, running shoes or something. I don't know. Did and just basically ready. Yeah. If the, I don't think Kanjo knows that, exactly what he needs. Yeah, if the game doesn't soft lock, then... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then he's good. If it does, then he needs, what, 20 more jiggies? Something like that? But actually, he needs 27, because it resets every time. Put in, sure. put in, like... Like yeah. six... No, five... Was it five more? Yeah, I think he put in five more jiggies. Yeah, I'm just gonna say this is on Hanjo for not knowing how many jiggies he needed. Cause, uh... Yeah. Alright, uh, there's his last jiggy. But opting not to get it? I don't know what he's doing now. You know, that is a very fast jiggy, you could just grab it. I was looking, trying to look for it. Yeah, it's just not been in there. Yeah, that that uh, tip tap, tip, uh, the where the honeycomb is in vanilla is, is a really mean spot. Cause you have to listen to the guy at least three, uh, two times, but most people do it in three tries. But yeah, shout out to Dino for finding out you can do it in two. <laughs> yep, Hanjo is one short. Oh no! Double oh. checking. He almost died. And he's gonna die. Oh! I'm trying to... <laughs> so if it's not soft locked, all he needed was one more. Yeah. Oh, there is gold feathers. It was right on top of the tree at the top oh. of TPC. Interesting. Alright.
Yep. Hanjo, Death Weapon. You can see the difference between the loading zones on emulator and, uh, and console right there. <laughs> it's a prime exam uh, example of it. There's a little sink there. Yeah, I don't know. I th think Flame has everything he needs. I think he's trying to look for Beak Bomb even though he doesn't need it. I think I told him that he didn't, you don't need Beak Bomb to beat the game, but... Yeah, this is it's like Andrew's gonna try again. If, yeah. if it doesn't work, then then it's a soft luck. Yeah. Then I don't. I guess we're just gonna let him keep going. Is that what the consensus is? I mean, I am the rule maker, but I do want to be as fair as possible. Unless we could drag him in and say that he can do eight ten skip, but I don't know. I just don't, I don't know what's fair. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh no, it worked! Okay, he's good, never mind. Oh, awesome! Awesome. Yep, there good we go. See. He deserves the win. There we go. So that worked pretty well at the okay, end. Okay, I thought it saw Fox every time. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, Jubilee Puff, you gotta look into that. I mean, you've already done enough, but like... Definitely something to, uh... But yeah. Yeah, and, and shout out to Jubilee Puff. Who are the randomizers in the chat right now? <laughs> Awesome guy. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Alright. Hanjo is on the... I'm gonna fight. Just doing some speed arm strats. It's pretty, pretty much the same between Vanilla and, and Randomizer. At least with these settings. Yeah, don't let JB have broken to anything. He's already done enough. Give me extra life. <laughs> Even though he doesn't really need it. <laughs> Maybe just in case if he game overs or something. And now, are we gonna see a ginger or a ginger soft rock? We're gonna see another form of a soft rock in this video game. Depends if Hanjo gets the skip. Uh -oh. And she got hit by Grand. Yeah. Uh, on on every drive, like ninety percent of the time. If I would not go for that angle. Yeah, that's gonna be... Nope, don't do it! Oh my god. <laughs> Hanjo, please. Never aim downwards yeah, on Drunky. Uh, it's the big rule. Uh, Flame found a uh, town trap. All Flameforge needs is Beak Bomb. Did he, did he find Beak Bomb? I don't think so. I don't know. Looks like Flame Parts is going for the hint. Which is for MM, right? So it doesn't really even matter. Yeah. And you better be careful because it's in that one hill. Oh, yeah, definitely. I was gonna grab this piece there. Hit. Uh, I don't think Hanjo uh, knows uh, Jinjo cutscene skips, so I don't think we'll see a, a Jinjo soft rock here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be seeing it. No, not at all. Got hit. Oh, he's gonna go for yep, it, man. Uh oh, he's gonna get it. Oh my god, what is it? Let's go! Okay, well, this is actually kind of bad though, but we could soft rock. Oh my god, what think, an angle, dude! Think, Somebody clipped that, that was crazy. That was a... That was a beautiful... That was, that was so beautiful. And he's going... Okay, it's not soft luck, I don't think. Wait. No, yeah, no, okay. I think this is the statue that... This very last one is the, the one that always soft locks. Okay, it didn't. Cool. So, it might have just been because he didn't... Um, he did a, a different method of it, and they're just because of lag, he only pooped three eggs, you know. That was insane, that was a, that was a Kobe of a, of a, of a Jinjo cutscene skip. Uh, well, we gotta get ready on time here. Yeah, I've had it also soft up on Jinjo I actually had it soft up. Are we gonna do Rocket Ninja? I <laughs> uh, didn't get it there. Alright, 
it was nice to do, to do another soft rock. It was good. Could doubt it to mm -hmm. this though. That would be unfortunate. Yeah. Doesn't have Wonder Ring, so we're gonna have to do a bit of missed it. It's getting very. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, GG. Oh, 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 GG. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's put him in. Wipe yourself off. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Have you I... ever heard of short term freaking memory loss? <laughs> uh, <coughs> that, that happened. So, if you didn't know, Flame, uh, Hanjo thought he needed 21 jiggies to beat the game, uh, but you needed 27. So, oh, yeah, wait, I'm did still I just out here searching for my last move? Yeah, I found it literally. Yeah. I couldn't remember what the last digit was, so I wrote it down. And so I thought it was 21, but maybe I just misread the text at the beginning. Yeah. It can't be 21, because, um... It's... Oh, it's 25! Oh yeah. my gosh, I'm actually a buffoon. Alright. Well, I got the win, though, so... Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was so worried. I was literally just, like, grabbing Jiggies, hoping I would have enough by the time I came back. Yeah. I still don't know where this move is. Where Big Bam is? Yeah. You don't need Beak Bomb to beat the game, right? You don't need Beak Bomb to beat Grunty in her second phase? Mm, you can yeah. use Beak Buster instead. It counts as a Beak Bomb hit. Oh, yeah. I've never tried to do that before. No, yeah. Oh, that I would have been done like fucking 40 minutes ago. Yeah. yeah Dude, Ooh, I man. feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah, Hanjo basically had a... It was a... It, it, it was like a 40 minute seed form until we, you know... Didn't, couldn't find uh, I messed up the count. Yeah, I would literally walked past like tried. 20 jiggies in RBB. Uh, yep. There was like two on top of the smoke stacks. I yeah, there were two. That. Also, first person mode goes dummy here. I don't know how much other people implement that, but I use first person mode way too much of this probably. I don't know if it's lower, but. Uh, I think it's a good strategy. But, uh, I use it sometimes. I, I saw that you do it do when you, there? for the very first jiggy in the lair. I wouldn't do it there. I mean, you can just go up there and check. You can get a good camera angle for it, but I guess. But yeah, because because if there is a jiggy there, you are wasting time by you know going into first person. Yeah. But there's there's some some jiggies and some collectibles that you need to do first person for. Like a good example is probably the jiggy in the water in uh in TTC. You don't really want to go down there if you don't, you know, if it's a mumbo token. Oh, you mean the one off of, off to the side of, um, uh, Snipper? I mean, Nipper? Uh, no, not the honeycomb, but the, the one, uh... Is it normally a Jiggy? Yeah, it's a normal underwater Jiggy. It's like, what do you, I don't know how to explain it, it's just in the water, like, on there. Am, am I losing my mind? Why don't I know where this Jiggy is? <laughs> Oh, wait, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, I, I did go first person there. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good first person. But, uh... No, yeah. But, yeah, so, Hanjo taking, uh, the win for this one. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah GG's, GG's flamed. I'll be yeah, honest, I was GG's sweating about that. I all that time looking for moves. Uh, so, I know. Actually, so, we, we thought, okay, so before we went, we thought you were actually going to software Hanjo because, um... Because uh, there's a known bug where if you enter Jiggies without like having all the Jiggies collected, like for the requirement, it yeah. cannot soft walk. Like it won't save like how many Jiggies you have in the painting. Oh, dude! There's a known bug during the qualifiers, and you got oh extremely lucky with that one. I guess I did. Is that does it normally soft lock? Like the both times that people have done it, it's soft locked, but it didn't for you. So we were actually kind of debating on whether we should have let you do like dog skip or like we I don't monster. even know dog skip. <laughs> That's the problem. I was like, he's probably doing no dog skip. So yeah, I was doing like any percent strats. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I don't run any percent. Yeah, we definitely want to learn some of the the more the RBA strats. I saw that you didn't really you didn't go out of bounds in GV, and you could have. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't know how to go out of bounds there, because, like, I wanted to go into Ruby's um, in the puzzle matching room, but I didn't know how to do either of those. Yeah. Gotta try out this, this ground pound strategy, because it's goofy. I didn't...
No, it's yeah, it's it's, it's a, something that I wouldn't have known unless TSR Storm literally told me. It's a it's a Taz strat that um that they do in the Taz. Oh, they don't learn beak bomb in the Taz? What they do is just like they do two beak bombs and then a beak buster and then another beak buster. But you can't do that oh. ITA, I'm pretty sure. Oh, but it's 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 faster to do beak busters. That's interesting. Because yeah. I always felt like it took years to do it with the beak buster. Like yeah, I felt like it doubled the grunty fight. It's faster if you do if you get the double beak buster hit, I'm pretty sure. Gotcha. But if you don't then it's not faster. Dude, that's my favorite character, Flibbit. That's him. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> just you gotta you, you gotta have more game knowledge and you'll do a lot better, you know, in these as both of you so yeah, keep doing no. the practice seeds. I um, finished all the practice seeds. I'll play out some more. <laughs> okay. Better. Thanks, homie. I, I I feel like I need more practice. I wanna learn how to do like the RBA stuff in case my memory screws me over again. I don't think there's any other number that's gonna happen with though. Like one in seven. That's like the only time that'll ever happen. I think. Yeah. Do you do you have a tracker? Have you used I get a tracker, tracker okay. but I don't use I don't use the tracker uh, for jiggies or notes. I use it for moves and for loading zones. Yeah. Oh. So at the end, when I was like cycling through levels, I was like routing in my head, like drawing lines between the different like stages that I could see. Yeah. Well, definitely could have been a 40 minute seed, but Hanjo messed up the count, and uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. You guys want to? That was, that was an absolutely bonker seed. Like, I did not expect to do it that quickly. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, and Flame Wing didn't have move. <laughs> no. Oh, Flame, did you find Wonder Wing? Because I never found that. You did. I did find every, literally every other move except the one required, or what, what I assumed was required. Yeah, I think that Where it was the first trailer. You got Beat Buster Gunny. Alright, cool. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, Where was Wonder Wing? Uh, uh, on a tree at the top of Lighthouse in TTC. Oh. Yeah. I was I was I was considering doing um Flightless Lighthouse because I'd been practicing that. Um But I, I didn't know how many moves were in there, so I wasn't sure it was worth it. Yeah. Um, oh, oh. But, but um, yeah. Dude, the count's right there on the stream. That's so embarrassing for me. Yeah, it's... Oh, wait, I, I just realized I messed up the numbers. I thought it was 201, I mean 207 uh, notes and <laughs> oh 21 God. jiggies. That's so oh, uh, bad. You got the two one place numbers mixed up. I did. But yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about anything else to say. Um, uh, Flame, you, you uh, missed Town Trot, I think. In, where was Town Trot again? It was like. Uh, I think it was. It was uh, the second road, I think. I think it was in. I think it was in TTC. I don't remember. Yeah, TTC. Yeah, it was in. It was in TTC, but yeah, you missed it on your first. Uh, your first travel there. Um, yeah, then what was? Was it where was Big Buster again? Beak Buster, I think. I don't know. Not Beak Buster, was. sorry. Um, Beak Bomb. My memory's killing me here. Yeah, me too, honestly. There's so much going on, but. Um, wait, let me. I think it was in. I think it was in FP. I think it was in Mumbo's Hut in FP. Interesting. Yeah, Mumbo's, Mumbo's Hut has. Mumbo's Hut actually has two checks for bottles moves on top of it and inside of it. Okay. And I messed. I messed that up. But, uh. Well, yeah, uh, I think yeah, I think we're done for now. Um, we're gonna have a race tomorrow.